I've even had women tell me, you know, hey, as soon as I get healed up, I'm coming on your program, but I can't come on your program right now because I'm dealing with some issues. And I understand where they're coming from, but I wanted to talk to you ladies because we all have times that we have these setbacks. And that's what I really wanted to touch base about tonight. I know we're still off track, but I'm still need to talk about osteoporosis and how exercise is going to help us and all these things and stretching and all that. Stretching, I guess, is really important because it's going to help with the injuries. But I want to talk about the mindset that we have. I know Christine's going through some, she's not on here tonight. She's going through some stuff and that woman loves to work out and she is just like, oh my gosh, I want to work out. This is awful. And um, I too, I have, you guys don't know this, but I've still not gone back to the gym. So I am going on 12 weeks. I haven't been able to be in the gym and I am going, oh my gosh. I hope when I go back to the gym, I don't, I'm going to be real sore again. I just, you know, it's going to be awful. And so I'm going to have to take it easy and all that. So after my surgery, I just have not been able to go back yet still. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I want to talk to you guys, you ladies, about your mindset. Tony, I know you're on here. Can you talk for just a second? Yeah, I'm here. I love what you've been doing with your clients, girl. Oh, thank you. <laughs> But listen, I, I wondered if you would share because I know how much you love to work out. And yes. you know, they always everybody always hears from me. Um, so this is like ah, it's Allie. You know, tell tell us about your mindset during that period because I know it was really hard on you when you could not work out and the struggle that it was, even as far as keeping your nutrition right. Would yeah. you share that with the ladies and maybe you have some insight on how you decided to change that mindset while you were not working out and all of that? Yeah, I'd love to. Um, well, it was so hard on me because working out makes me happy. So when I'm not able to work out, I get depressed. And um, coming into this um, straight off the bat with you, I got COVID. I had that... Um, really bad um, thrombosis hemorrhoid. And then I ended up having a periformis syndrome, which is a form of sciatica that would run from my butt down my hip. And it was like excruciating, one of the most painful things I'd ever done. So it was just like back to back, I kept having to sit out. And with each thing, I would get depressed and I'd be like, man, this is it. I'm not going to be able to continue on my journey. Like I'm sidelined. I can't you know, I can't continue. And that's something that I had to work with and sit down and tell myself, like, look, life happens. Something is always going to come up and throw you off. And am I really going to let every time something happens just completely derail my nutrition and, and just have to give up? And so I had to, like, I still have that issue. It hits me. If something comes up, like we've been sick for two weeks now, my first thought was, oh, I can't do this. And I'm like, no, you can do this. You just have to take it one day at a time, one meal at a time and work on staying on track despite whatever setback that I have to go through. Um, because ultimately it is, it's our mindset, because if we just think, well, I can't do this because of this, this and that, then no, you're, you're going to fail. You're never going to, to hit your goals. And so you have to think, well, what can I do to make, to make this day better? What can I do to make this work? And exercise is so important to keep your body um, strong and mobile, but nutrition is king. You can hit your goals as long as you stay true on your nutrition. So even if you have a couple days where you you're depressed and you, you know, you miss out on your macros or you go over on your calories, if you get right back to that and you stick with that for the most part, you can still hit your goals and then heal up and then get back to your workouts. So it definitely, it's all about your mindset and just finding one positive thing, like just one positive thing and and amplifying it because if you can create positivity up here you can definitely succeed right so the thing thank you for sharing that it is all about your mindset and we get stuck in oh i'm 
you know, I'm hurting. Julia, I understand, man. Shirley, your pain. Uh, Christine, the pain that you guys are going through. Vanessa, all of you guys are going through something. And here's the thing. If you can, if you can say, okay, I may not be able to do all of it, but I realize you have to rest. I know some of you ladies are like, oh my gosh, I got, I got to push through this and I'm going to push through the pain and I'm going to do these workouts anyway. Sometimes that's really not wisdom. I mean, surely if it's not hurting you to do what you're doing, then that's okay. But listen to your body because we have to, we have signals in our body for a reason. Okay. You have signals in your body for a reason. Listen to your body. Because if you don't heal, if you don't take time to let it heal, it could become a really a chronic problem or you could injure yourself worse. And I want you to listen. And I'm going to tell you, me being your coach and coaching you and being now out of the gym almost 12 weeks, that's hard for me. I feel like I am not living it. And if I'm going to preach it, I want to live it. And I feel like, why well, I'm not in the gym. Well, I shouldn't discuss with them that I'm not in the gym. Well, the doctor hasn't let me go back to the gym. And I still have issues going on 12 weeks later. And I'm just sitting back going, oh, but listen, I'm staying focused on my protein. And I'm doing what I can because diet is 80% of it. And if you can just stay focused on that. And diet is the hardest part. It is. I can. I believe it is for me and for most women. Now, some women, diet's okay and they hate the workouts. But for me, it's all about the, the workouts. I love the workouts. I hated the diet. Now the diet's easy for me because it's a habit. But I'm going to tell you, that was my hardest part. And it still is. But if you can fix that diet, you'll change your life. Because there's going to be times when we can't work out. Make the healthy choices. And that's like how we talked about, you know, the picking your lunches. And I had some women say, well, here's where I go for, to for lunch. And I didn't quite, maybe I did say it, but I wanted, I want to say this because I looked over the, the menus and I, here's how I really felt. Cause I will tell you guys sometimes how I really feel. It's like, okay, that restaurant's a cheat meal restaurant. That's exactly why you didn't make progress in the past. Ooh, that sounds hard, didn't it? If that is your picks and you're wanting me to find something off of those menus, now I understand why you didn't make progress in the past. That sounds so mean, but it's so true. Because there was nothing on some of those menus that I could even find. I'm like, holy cow, that stuff sounds delicious. It sounds so delicious, but it's definitely cheat meal food. Because if you're going to eat out three, four times a week, five times a week, it makes it really hard to stick to your goals. But if you're going to pick restaurants like that, it's impossible. It really is. Because probably those, those meals that you're looking at there just for they're over half of your calories for the day. They're probably way over. And a lot of them are probably your whole calories for the day plus part of tomorrow's. To be really honest. And so, you know, we have to get our mindset right. And that's what I see you ladies doing. I'm on here tonight with the freaking rock stars. I am. I'm on tonight with the rock stars. I love you guys. I'm so proud of you guys. Do you have bad days? Yeah. Do you fall down and mess up a little bit? Yeah. Do you get back up on your feet? It might take you a minute, but yeah, you do. That's what I love about you. All of you are like that. Every one of you on here tonight is like that. I am proud of you. See, that's what it takes to win. Doesn't mean you'll never fail. Winners always fail. But they just get back up and they correct it and they move forward. You think I'm perfect? Holy cow. I was just at my dad's house. <laughs> and my mama is the 
best cook. Oh my gosh, that woman can cook. But there's a stick of butter and everything. There's always candy all over every table. And it's not even the holidays yet. <laughs> so it's bad. I was like, whoo. And I'm back home where they have all of my favorite foods. You know, stuff I grew up on and stuff that I don't get around here. And so I was just like, okay, I got to find a balance, find a balance, find a balance. But my tummy hurt because I'm not used to eating food like that, you know? And so a cheat meal is one thing. But when you go beyond a cheat meal, my daddy's like, you know, you like these are so good. Just take one bite. And I'm like, oh, this is why you're 70 pounds overweight, dad. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I'm trying to stay fit. But my daddy, he's a sweetheart. Um, but I'll tell you, I really enjoyed my visit. Yes, Vanessa, share it, girl. This whole talk reminded me of something that happened a long, long time ago. Like <laughs> 1997 or something like that. Long time ago. Um, I was living in Hawaii, actually. And I was an oh. army wife. And, you know, you're with the same women a lot of the time because your husbands are in the company the same company and stuff and there was this one girl beautiful girl and we were all the wives were all out at a restaurant I can't remember what restaurant it was but I was I was you know she was a silent inspiration like I would look at her and I'd be like ah you know <laughs> I'm so like, you know, jealous, you know, kind of, and just uh -huh. envious, like, you know, you're so put together and like, mm. yeah. but so <laughs> she made, she twice, we were in a certain area, you know, an event or whatever. And this first time at the restaurant, I'm chowing on a cheeseburger and she ordered chicken breast and steamed vegetables with nothing <laughs> on it. <laughs> And it just reminded me just now, like she made a decision, you know, and I, I was like, <laughs> and then the next, the other time in another, you know, kind of like army event, whatever they had like a buffet and it was <clears throat> white rice and like, I think there was white fish <laughs> and just things that, you know, she like, she whispered, but I heard her because I was paying attention to her because she was, she was a presence. Her name was Rebecca. She was a presence, you know, her and her husband, well known, but she was gorgeous. And she's like, Oh, I can't eat any of this stuff. And I'm like, Oh, but it just popped into my head. Like she made a decision. And I think now I'm just going to remember her if I have to go eat out, like make a decision, like don't get the cheeseburger. I don't know, but that story just popped up, but she was the one that was always, you know, um, looked great. And mm -hmm. even if there's, I don't think, I think if, even if there's nothing that you can choose from on the menu, can't you just ask the restaurant always for like just a plain chicken breast and steamed vegetables? Surely they have that. Surely. Yeah. Most places do have some type of option. Some places don't. Some places are, some of these places were sandwich places that have all these fancy sauces all over the sandwich. And I'm like, I don't even know what that is. I'm <laughs> from the country. I don't even know what that, I don't even know what a roulette sauce even means. Like, I'm sure it's really bad. Yeah. I don't know. But, but here's the thing. It's all mindset. If we do what we've always done, we're going to get the result we've mm -hmm. always got. And why do we think you come out here <laughs> and you're going to have some magical experience because now you're working with Bob Babes and now you want to pick from the same places and it's like, you can't. Sometimes you got to change things. You got to change things to change your life. And you really do. You do. It's hard. It, making those changes is not easy. It isn't. But here's what I heard one time, and this rings true with me so much. It's all about mindset. It really is. I, I want to, before I share what I heard, I want to tell you my mindset. My mindset was I would go out to eat. I would be with people, and they would get all this stuff that I usually ate. And I was on a diet. And I was like, 
I was feeling like deprived the whole time I was there. I was feeling deprived. Well, they were getting this and they were getting that and they were getting the drinks and they were getting the dessert and they were getting the appetizer and they were getting the good meal. And I was getting this diet meal. And I, I was like, oh, I hate this. And that's where my mindset was. I really wanted the changes, I thought. But when it came down to it, I wanted the bad food too. And I, but I decided I'm going to stick this diet out no matter how I feel. But then that day, there came a day where I decided, okay, I'm losing weight a little bit. I'm changing my body. Why am I feeling so bad about my decision? Like this decision is making me feel better. This decision is, is changing my life. And I decided to tell myself, good choice. While they were eating their food, I would look at them and let them enjoy theirs, but I was going to enjoy my decision. Vanessa, just like you said, that woman made a different decision. And here's the thing. It was her mindset. I'm sure she didn't feel deprived, but she took pride in the choices she was making. And so I started putting my salad dressing on the side. And instead of thinking, oh, the salad tastes disgusting, I would dip a little bit of every bite into my salad dressing. And I started challenging myself to see how much I could still enjoy my salad with it, but how much I could leave in the container. Like I was so like, I would, I, because this was changing my life. My body was changing. I liked my results and I had to change my mindset. And I started like, oh my God, look how much you left in your container. I'm talking to myself. Yeah, like way to go, girl. And here's what I realized. And this lady said it once and it hit me like, exactly. She said, changing the way you eat and deciding to eat healthier food is not depriving yourself. It's not deprivation. She said, people slam it all the time. You mean that's all you're eating is that unprocessed food that God made for you to eat? Is that all you're eating? You know, why aren't you having the chocolate cake with the chocolate sauce and the, what is wrong with you? Like, we're all enjoying this. What is wrong with you? And she said, you know, I came to a place in my life where I decided that's not depriving myself. That is freaking self-respect. It's self-respect. It's having respect for my body and appreciating it. Because I'll guarantee you, we wouldn't pull our car up to McDonald's and go put in a bunch of the trash that we put in our bodies inside that gas tank. Because we know it's going to destroy my car. But we're sitting here and we really know that it's hurting our bodies, but yet we keep throwing it in the, down the pipes. So there's nothing wrong with it. And a little bit at a time, I don't think. I, I still don't think. Uh, these are the, the most valuable gifts that we've got, these bodies. And we throw crap in it all the time. And then we feel deprived. I can't have crap. I can't put more crap into my body. And then... We feel bad about it. We don't think we can enjoy our lunch. That's all in our mind. We can enjoy our lunch. We can find balance in all things. We don't have to eat celery sticks and carrots. We can find balance. It doesn't have to be all about trash. And we need to just focus on our health and our mindset. And when we change our mindset, we truly change our lives. How many of you ladies have had a mindset change? Yeah. And that's why you've won. Don't let go of it. That lady that Vanessa was talking about, I hope she wasn't a snobby woman. I hope she wasn't unkind to other women. She says she wasn't. She's shaking her head. No. Good. But she had a lot of self-respect for herself. And you know what? I think that's so valuable. Whenever I went back home, there are so many men and women. I mean, it's bad here in Tennessee, but I want to go back to Ohio. It's a really poor area where my family's from and obesity is off the charts and drug addiction is off the charts and food addiction is off the charts and it is awful. 
and they're taking the weight loss drugs and all these things, you know, they're just trashing their bodies. There's nothing wrong with having respect for your body and love for your body. It's a beautiful thing. And we don't need to feel deprived over it. We need to change our mindset and say, I'm just taking care of me. I wish we could see it as love to ourselves more. Because when you look in that mirror and you see those changes and you're starting to feel better, you're starting to look better, you start getting your confidence back. That's a beautiful thing. Eating all that trash that made me look in the mirror and go, oh, I hate how I look. I hate how I feel. Why can't I change my life? And I'll say it again one more time because it's so true. I'll be damned if we change the bad habits that make us fail again and again and again and again and again. And we make every excuse why we can't change it. And we just keep failing and failing and failing. But if we only change those habits, we can change our life. And that begins with mindset. And we can start winning instead of losing. But it's our choice. It's our choice. What we get out of life. It's our choice about the body we live in. For the most part, there are things that are out of our control. But for the most part, we have a choice to live healthy or unhealthy. It's our choice. Choose the best for you. Fall in love with you again. Right now, where you're at. Don't wait till you're fit. Oh, I'm going to love myself when I'm more fit. Oh, I'm going to love myself when I get to my goal. Oh, I'm going to love myself when. How about look in the mirror and instead of saying something awful, it's going to be hard because I've done it. Try to look in the mirror and say something nice about myself. Just do it. Instead of looking at your pictures each month and just criticizing them and saying, I hate them. I want you to look and see your beauty in those pictures. I want you to see the work that you put in and how your body's changed. We talk to ourselves like dogs. We would never talk to a dog that way. Most of us. How about we get a different perspective? Respect ourselves. Love what we see and say, you know what? Maybe I don't like this part of my life so much, but I can always change that. And I'm going to, and I am. You are strong women. You are very strong women. You've done much harder things than this diet. You've done much harder things than these workouts. You are strong. You have so much wisdom. Over the age of 40, just think how dumb we were when we were 20. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> and you've learned. You have so much wisdom to share with people. Sorry, guys. Anyway, I'm done. I just want you to be proud of yourselves. And, and when I see you, Viana and Vanessa, and Angela, and Tony, and Christine, there she is, and Shirley, and Julia, and I look at those pictures, I get so excited, oh my god, like amazing, amazing progress, amazing ways that you're fighting for yourself, I get to see behind the scenes when you guys are hurting, and you guys are going through deaths in the family, and you guys are going through all the personal life changes, and I see women who are just, oh, it's hard. It's hard. And yet you're fighting for yourself. Do you know how beautiful that is? Some people just completely give up. But here you are fighting for a better you and a better life for you. You know what? And that your children see and your grandchildren see. You, you need to look in the mirror and see it. Take pride in what you've accomplished and what you're doing. Pat yourself on the back. And say, look, girl, look what you did. You chose the chicken breast over the lasagna. <laughs> Come <down. laughs> That's called self-respect. <laughs>
Anyways, I love you ladies. I'm Can so I say something really quick? Go on, girl. Go on. So in October, I really had a struggle month. It was the month that my husband had passed away. And it's been four years. And so, sorry, my dog's barking. But um, and so I didn't take pictures that month. I didn't I wasn't in, I didn't follow the diet. And, but I took pictures the other day and I looked back. And although when I did all my measurements, I haven't, they, they didn't move very much. I started this program in August. I'm down about 13 pounds, but I really saw a difference. And I'm so glad I took the pictures because I don't see it in myself when I look at myself. So I think that the pictures really are super helpful. They are. So I saw your pictures. Holy crap. I was <laughs> shocked. I had like, I like my hips were like this, but now they're like this. You know? I, know. And I, I, and I wouldn't, I mean, I don't, you don't really feel it in yourself. Like, I don't know. I don't quite feel like I look different, but uh -huh. it's getting to the point where people are starting to notice, like, did you lose some weight? I'm like, yeah, you know? <laughs> but I don't feel it. And if it wasn't for those pictures, because the measurements really aren't there yet, the weight on the scale is there, but I don't know if I'm measuring myself wrong or what, but. You move I, that tape a little bit. It can go up and down and. Right. It's really but hard. The, the pictures were like so real. Like I have yeah. to say, I'm so glad that you convinced me to take pictures and that I'm sad that I didn't do them last month, but I was in such a funk, but this month I did them and I can't wait till next month. <laughs> yes. I'm so proud of you. That's good. Ladies, hold your head up high and keep moving forward. If you've got injuries, like we talked about earlier, just focus on your diet. You're going to be okay. Christine, it's been 12 weeks since I've been in the gym. <laughs> Lord, I am so ready to go to the gym, but I'm going to hurt when I do. So I understand. I do understand. Focus on the diet. Keep your mindset right and keep fighting for yourself and keep moving forward. I love you guys. Have a great night.